So there was uh, recently an earthquake in Mexico. Uh, there were several other earthquakes before that. They had actually taken a, a technology, this was a high-tech solution that was developed for looking at um, uh, stars and uh, using uh, microwaves that could detect very tiny motions like heartbeats mm. across 30 feet of rubble or 20 feet of concrete. Um, and so they collaborated uh, with across agencies to find people and save lives. So we were able to detect people who were trapped. So our product is a walkie-talkie application. So Pretty you cool. So do, do need internet. Um, you do need a smartphone to download and install. But I think one thing that's unique about our app is that it runs on 2G and up. So mm -hmm. even when cell towers were down or, you know, were... Um, had a high load um, civilians using the app or rescue groups using the app didn't need high bandwidth. So, How were they using it in contrast, say, with a telephone or text message? Um, so a lot of uh, rescue groups like the Cajun Navy used it to organize with themselves and say, okay, we need to we need to dispatch a boat over here. Um, okay, that boat's available now. And even um, just people needing rescue were also jumping on the app and connecting on the channels and saying, hey, um, my neighbor's flooded. This is the address. This is where you need to go. Um, they have children here, et cetera. So um, it was used across groups, um, and even local government was using it to just coordinate with each other or civilians using it to ask for help and ask for to get rescued.